Hey guys, Jennifer Lopez here. I'm very excited. I'm about to walk you through my dewy makeup look and also my skincare routine that preps my skin for my dewy makeup look. I always like to start by setting the stage. This is Santal 26. I love this candle. Everywhere I go, I take it when I go traveling on the road to hotel rooms. It's kind of a signature scent for me. I love it very much. I also like to say a little bit of an affirmation. I am in perfect health always. My family is in perfect health always. I am youthful and timeless at every age. My life is full of abundance, joy, and love. Skincare. First thing, cleanser. I use the JLo Beauty Cleanser. It's called that Hit Single because I have to wear so much makeup all the time and reapply it all day long. Something that really just washed and cleansed my face in a beautiful way. I've always had a very simple skincare routine and JLo Beauty was very much about that. I always kind of just was like cleanser, um, a little bit of a cream, uh, sunscreen, very basic. I know there was a lot of rumors back in the day that I was like into all of these expensive cleansers and I had to like douse myself in La Mer and stuff like that. That really wasn't true. Next thing I do is I put in my eye drops. And I do that before my serum because I don't like it to drip down, but I like to have bright eyes. I feel like it's the first thing everybody sees, that JLo Glow Serum. You know, when I was young, my mom and my grandma, my aunts, they all had these kind of crazy beauty secrets. One was olive oil that actually we use and we created the olive complex for this very product. But there were some other ones that were a little bit crazy like mayonnaise in the hair. I just could never bring myself to do it, but my cousins used to do it. So you see, we kind of got a beautiful glowy skin going right now. I like to put it all the way down into my decolletage. Don't worry, I'm not gonna flash you like I have done before in some of my videos. One of my biggest beauty secrets is sleep. But one of my tricks for when I can't get enough sleep, there's a certain amount of hours that I feel like you can sleep before your face falls asleep. So it's either under four or over seven. That's my rule. This next step that I do is moisturizer, my day cream. It was so important for me to create a day cream that had sunscreen because I feel like this was one of the things that was a game changer for me in staying useful over the years is wearing sunscreen every single day. I know there was a lot of jokes kind of in the Spanish market. They like to <laughs> say, all you need to use is bloqueador and you'll be, <laughs> you'll look like JLo. But the truth is, is if you start young, it will make a huge difference. I'm gonna add a little bit of La Mer lip balm, which I really love. It has a nice kind of light minty taste to it and smell to it. A little bit like spearmint gum. My next step is my JLo Beauty eye cream. I put eye cream a little bit here. I heard another beauty secret that I've lived by as well, which is, you know, until 25 or you get the face that you're born with. After that, you get the face you deserve. All right, let's start the makeup look. I've never shared this with anybody. I just kind of do it naturally. So I'm just gonna go with the flow here. The first thing I do is I do a little bit of concealer. Anywhere that you have a little bit, you see how this is a little darker than here? So I just put a little bit in there. Years ago, I was in a mall somewhere when I was a teenager and they were signing up people for elite model management. They just showed me how to do makeup and you basically had to pay. <laughs> they said, you could be a model, which I couldn't. I was five foot five and they bought you in and they, they actually showed me how to do makeup. And it was my first kind of entree into that. But where I really, really learned how to do great makeup, I was lucky enough to work with Kevin Aquan. He was my first really professional makeup artist. Then I like to do a little bit of contour. And I take some of these darker colors in here and mix them. I don't feel like I need to just use one. A little bit above my cheekbone. Before I used to go right here in the cheekbone, but now I realize that if I do it a little bit above, it lifts the face a little more. Yeah. 
And Kevin taught me, he's like, don't be afraid of makeup. He's like, you can always wash it off. And I go down in here. I call this the light bulb. <laughs> so we darken that so it doesn't light up. Like, look at this chin. No. And then I take a thinner brush like this with some of the lighter colors. I do a little bit of nose contour. And then, which was an old Kevin trick, I take some of the concealer. This is a Touche Clots concealer, which I really like. Great little pen. And then I brighten a little more there and then down the sides of the nose again. Now this is not supposed to be lip liner. This goes around the mouth. And if you blend it right, it'll cause just a tiny bit of a shadow that makes your lips look a little bit poutier. Then I take my Chanel Vita Lumiere. I've used this for years as well. And I use three different shades. I use 50, 30, and I just took this off at 20. Put a little here and two squirts of 30. And I take a foundation brush and now I just start blending everywhere. Have a lot of older kind of beauty icons like um, Sophia Loren and Varushka, Bridget Bardot, people like that. Like I love those kind of sexy, gorgeous, sireny looks. Now I'm taking the lighter, the 20 and the 30, and going down the light parts of my face. I take the larger foundation brush one more time and I just kind of go over everything again just to blend it all in and I start going up and down the nose. As you can see, I'm already starting to look glowy and I haven't applied any highlighter. I haven't done anything like that. It starts with your skin and it starts with how kind of rested and happy you are because you can put on all the makeup in the world. If you're unhappy, if your skin's not healthy, you're just gonna look like you have a bunch of makeup on the top of on top of something that's like you can't cover it up. That's the thing you can't cover up. How you feel on the inside, how you take care of yourself. People see that. The next thing that I would do, just to define the eye just a little bit. This is a Tom Ford palette, and I take the brown because I like a very soft look. And I love playing with makeup, don't get me wrong. Like I love doing all kinds of makeup looks. You guys know that. You've seen me on the red carpet for years. And I just go along the top of the eye. I take the lighter color here. I feel like Bob Ross, who's that guy who does a painting? Bob Ross, just enough. And then I will take a little bit of the dark if I wanted to just kind of accent a little bit. I'll take a little bit of this color over here, which has a little bit of kind of like a luminescence in it and go along the edge of what I did. So it even softens it even more. So I do this. I like cream blush, especially when you get a little older. So I take a little bit of this peach one. This one I used on my last movie that I just did. This brand is Beauty Blender and this one is Playful Peach. So I take a little bit again with my foundation brush. Take the big brush and just make sure your face matches your neck. This is a Marc Jacobs highlighter that I've just become obsessed with. I don't know if you guys noticed my nail. You know, I just got my nails done after my movie because I were like, I was in an action movie and I had them really short and it was like blood and dirt in them all day. And I was like, well, the minute I'm done with the movie, I'm putting on a, a set of tips and I'm gonna do the designs and everything. And I freaking was playing charades with my family, banged into somebody and they hit my nail and ripped the nail right off. So I take a very thin brush. I would take my Serge Luton's, which I've used. I don't even know if this is continued anymore. See, this one says it goes in my purse. And I take a little bit of this bronzer, which you can see it's gone. And I just kind of reinforce the nose contour just a bit. Then I take that thin brush again. I soften. So I actually learned this trick for my lips from TikTok or Instagram Reels or one of those things. 
They do a little line down here. This is a Makeup Forever pencil. I'm obsessed, it's my new fave. And then do the same thing, a little line right here. I really like these Fenty Beauty lip glosses. This like this peachy color. Now, if I feel like the rest of my face is a little pale, cause sometimes it's darker and sometimes it's paler, I'll take the lighter pink one. I'm gonna get my Anastasia pencil. We all have imperfections in our eyebrows that we have to fill in. So I'm gonna fill in, I had a chicken pock right here back in the day. But this eyebrow kind of stops shorter than the other one, so I just bring that out a bit. Yep, that's a dewy J-Lo glow look. And then, to finish it off, I take the finishing touch, Makeup Forever. I forgot my mascara. This is the most important part. Now, I can do a five-minute version of this for you guys one day but maybe I'll save that for when I come out with my makeup line. With the skin from here down, it's just as important as your face. I have a serum, a body cream, and a booty cream. If you know, you know, and you're obsessed. Put my serum on first. This is for cellulite, this is for dimpling, this is for stretch marks. You're going to feel it's gonna have a little heat to it, especially when you combine this product with the next product, the cream. And then we put the cream on top. This is the first time you guys are seeing this product. I am sharing it with you first here. And I use it on my hands as well. All right, guys. Well, I mean, I couldn't be more glowy right now. Thank you. I love you guys. Have the most amazing day. Remember, I am magnificent and my life is full of joy, laughter, adventure, and love. Success and prosperity too. Put it all in there. <laughs> Bye.